next 12 months. We'll be flying the White Knight 2 and the spaceship together in December. And we will be starting the spaceship flights by themselves in the second part of next year, beginning the process of taking the spaceship into space with its rocket motor fired. Now, we don't give a precise date as to when we're going to go through this, because we're in a race with only one thing. We're in a race with safety. And we're working on a brand new type of licensing with FAAST and Dr. Neal's team. So therefore, we don't say we're going to be here at, you know, the 10th of December 2010 or the 1st, 1st of January 2011. We talk about the fact that we are looking at a program that will be in the kind of parameters of a couple of years to commerciality. But the first flights to space will be before that. The very first test flights to space will be from Mojave. But Sir Richard Branson has made it very clear to all of us on the team, and he said the same thing to Steve Landine, that the inaugural commercial flight with the first paying passengers and himself on board is going to be from Spaceport America in New Mexico. And we are in that kind of time frame parameter. We're in the next two years. Now, if we can do it quicker, we'll do it quicker because it's the right thing to do, not because we're racing to do it. If we do it a little bit slower, it will be because it's the right thing to do. But the timeline and the tracking on this project is going spot on at the moment, so I'm very confident we will be here. When the space board is ready, we'll be ready. Thank you. This, this is a, uh, a project that's involving millions of taxpayer dollars. Most of our taxpayers don't have the money to go to space. Uh, if you can elaborate on, and you kind of touched upon this, what, what this means to the average Joe, and I think we'd also like to be interested on who's already paid or put down cash to go up into space. We'd like to know. I think I'll give Steve and uh, Mr. Whitehorn. You're first on the taxpayer dollars, and I'll follow. No, uh, you know, and that's uh, that's something that obviously is very, very important for the taxpayers of New Mexico, and obviously the legislature with the governor working on it. Uh, there's a return on investment expected; otherwise, they would have not have done this deal. When I came into Sierra County, there was a value proposition to show that the economic development, the job creation, and the tax base is going to be better for that community. And each individual has to weigh that up for themselves. But these taxpayer dollars are going to produce an economic engine that's going to create business and prosperity for everyone. As you bring in uh, new, such as the new Walmart that came into uh, Truth or Consequences, what do you think that did for that community in terms of their affordability of lifestyle with the services and goods that they used to have to drive to Las Cruces for or up to Albuquerque or Socorro. So there's a lot involved here of value and bringing industries to New Mexico, which long run creates a very robust economy in the state, not only through the spaceport, but through this tourism element and then of course the educational factor and value of this differentiated educational aspect that we're providing through the spaceport and through the other wonderful assets in New Mexico. On the, uh, on the subject of money being spent, Virgin Galactic has so far invested over $130 million in the program, and we expect the final budget to get well over $300 million before we get to commercial return, sometime around 2012 into 2013 when the project's fully commercial. And the investment that's been made by our customers so far is 300 people have paid $40 million in deposits. That money is being held separately. And at the moment, until we are ready to go commercial, if people want it back, they get it back. And those first 300 customers will be the first of about 700 we hope to sign up by the time that we actually get to commercial flight. And we are bang on track to do that. Last month, we sold about five tickets. We expect to sell an average month about four tickets a month. And that is bang on track at the moment. Some of the people, now, a lot of our customers want to remain private. They don't want their names bandied about. But some of them are quite happy for us to say who they are. And I'll give you a flavor, because the kind of customers we've got are a very diverse range of people. Many of them are scientists, people like Professor James Lovelock, who basically founded a thing called Gaia Theory of how the planet works and was the man who unlocked the secret of the depletion of the ozone layer, one of the world's greatest scientists of the modern era. He's a customer. We've got customers like Brian Singer, the film director, who directed the Superman movie, for example. The last Superman movie he directed, he had a spaceship in it detaching from a, an aircraft. I wonder where he got that idea from. We also have customers like 
the legendary Formula One racing car engineer and designer Adrian Reynard, Dr. Adrian Reynard, a visiting professor of carbon composite technology at Cranfield Institute in England. We've got other customers like um, Sir Richard Branson himself, who's always wanted to do this. And we've got lots and lots of people who put their heart and souls into this. I would say they're a mixture of entrepreneurs, scientists, visionaries, and people who just want to help. They want to see the planet, but they also believe this project should happen. And in fact, we've got a few customers here today, and they're in the audience, and I'm sure they'd be happy to speak to you all afterwards. I'll hunt them out for you if you want to have a chat with them. Uh, for Will and for the Governor, uh, there had been talk of uh, a lottery, like for the general public. Would there be any programs for the general public or uh, uh, for students to take flights? And also, if the governor, if we can get our governor on, on uh, one of the flights here, <laughs> he'd be interested. Ah, well, I better answer that rather than ask the governor to answer that. Um, let's, let's look at the idea of a lottery. We've looked at that very closely, and it's actually quite difficult to do a lottery with a project of this nature until we're actually in the commercial phase. Once we're regularly flying, you can make the offer to people. But if you buy a lottery ticket at the moment, obviously we are not ready to be commercial at the moment. If you want to pay as a customer and join that list of 700 people who we hope to sign up, that's fine. But we want to save the lottery for the next phase. But I want to make the first lottery that we do do for tickets and if the legislation allows it and it's legal, I'd like to do it in New Mexico first of all, before we do it anywhere else. We're also going to create a project here in the future, an educational project, where we are going to donate a ticket to the state of New Mexico for the most attributed young person to create an educational um, project for us at Virgin Galactic. And that top prize will be a ticket to space so that young people can really participate in this project. Now, as for the governor flying, I'm not allowed to give away free tickets. But if it turns out that he works for his money, there is a good chance that if he would like to go to space, that he will be able to go to space. But that's a decision that he has to take and I can't answer for. Thank you. For Governor Richardson, Gobernador, ¿cuál ha sido la respuesta que ha mostrado la comunidad acerca del Spaceport? Pues la comunidad está muy contenta, la comunidad tiene mucha esperanza, está honrada por tener el Spaceport en Nuevo México, para los niños estudiantes hispanos del sur de Nuevo México, van a aprender más ciencia, tecnología, van a tener más trabajos, y va a ser un gran evento, el Spaceport, para el sur de Nuevo México y para la comunidad latina. La, el historial de los españoles aquí que vieron es parte de nuestra herencia y de nuestra cultura. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Now, we have one final thing so that everybody here today can mark this moment. We would like to ask that everyone in the audience please stand up, come out of the tent, and face this direction. We're going to do a big group photo of everybody here today. Walk forward, everybody, right we'll here. We'll do this as quickly and painlessly as possible. Nice and smooth. If I can have the Rocketeers up here to the front row, please. Chad and Paige, come to the banner, the Rocketeers. No, no. Right there. I can't go that far. Do they have to go that far? Do they have to go out there? I, I prefer them to stay on the stay on the hard ground, please. Please stay on the hard ground. No, no, just Rocketeers, make your way to the front, please, with with Chad. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Squeeze in. Lots of room to the back, everybody. Just make your way to the back. He's very high. Rocketeers up front. Rocketeers. Squeeze your way in, please. Find a spot. Are you going to be in the picture or no? Take it up to the front. Take it to Chad. Is everybody ready? 
Attention on the photographer on the ladder. He'll give you the cue. 